So the fourth DCMA point assessment is a relationship types. So we talked about logic, which has successors and predecessors to every task. Every task has to have a relationship, but that relationship can be defined differently. It's not all where finish to start is the common one that is used when you first link a task and is the default. You can change that to say both of these tasks start at the same time. So that's a start to start relationship. So you can say these tasks are related. They start at the same time. Now, normally though, if that happens, you want to create a finish to start relationship of least one of these. So if this task right here is dependent on this task over here, well then why wouldn't this next one be too? If they're going to have a start to start relationship, that would be my default. But in some cases, what if it's the first task or whatnot, and you want to have a start to start, you can. Start to start is a rare instance to use, but you can use it. Now the next one is start to finish. So that's if you wanted to go backwards, this could be used with backwards planning. Say you have a test and I'm thinking of the engineering world and you have these test readiness reviews that you have to happen. You have to do it so many days prior to the test. So they're planning to say, Hey, three years out or one year out, we have to do this 180 days out. We have to do this. That's a backwards plan. And you would use that start to finish relationship. It goes backwards. And then you also have the finish to finish. So if you have two different tasks and they are different lengths of time, one's this one that, but you want them to both finish at the same time. Um, cause there's sometimes where it's like, Hey, they just have to finish at the same time. Then you would use that finish to finish. You use that if you kind of want to know, well, when do I start this one? Instead of using that negative lag before you can use that finish to finish start. So there's four types of relationships between tasks and you use those interchangeably. Finish to start is the default and the preferred method. However, DCMA does allow you 10% of your tasks to have other relationships other than the finish to start. A recap of this metric is it's identifying the non-typical relationships between tasks. Remember the finish to start is best and why this is important. So DCMA understands that there are times when other relationships are appropriate and not just the finish to start. So you can see that they allow a maximum of 10% of our task to be other than the finish to start, but you just can't build an entire schedule using start to start or finish to start or start to finish, whatever it is. That's why they have this metric is because they want to see and make sure that yes, they understand that there's certain types of relationships that you need, but you shouldn't have an entire schedule built like that. So what field are we looking at to calculate this? We're going to be looking at the predecessors and successors again, and you're going to be counting how many incomplete tasks have a predecessor that has the SS, FF, or SF in there with that predecessor, the task ID number. Then you take that count and then you divide it by the count of incomplete tasks. And the goal is you want to get down below 10% of your task having a non-typical relationship. Finish to start is the preferred, but others are permitted within margin. So example of how to calculate this, you're going to go through project, count how many tasks have the non-typical relationships, then you're going to add them all together. So in this example, we still have our 441 incomplete task total, but Six of them are a start to finish relationship. Two of them are a finish to finish relationship. And one of them is a start to start relationship. So you add those together and that's nine total that have non-typical relationships with other tasks. Then you take that nine and divide it by the 441 and it gets us at that 2%. That is definitely within margin below the 10% that DCMA allows. Here is examples of what we're looking for in project. So normally predecessors that have no finish to start are just going to have the task ID in there. But if you had a start to start, so you have the task ID with the number and then you would see an SS, or if it was a start to finish, you would see an SF after the task ID. And if it was a finish to finish, you'd see that FF after the task ID. So let's take a look. So when we change the relationship types, I usually change it down here in my details view. But the easiest way to check this is again, filtering on your predecessor and successor columns and filtering on contain. Now, if it was to include SS, which means a start to start relationship, it puts it next to that number. So it's saying that there's a start to start relationship here to item number three. And that's how we would get it. If you wanted to filter on the 
start to finish relationship, you would do SF and it would be there. I don't have any in this one. Or if you wanted to filter on finish to finish, you would type in FF and press OK and it would be there. Now, the only time you don't see one is usually with the finish to start relationship because that's by default. However, you're going to see it if there's a lag. So in this case, because I had a lag, it put it as a finish to start. Otherwise, if you don't see one, then that is the default, which is a finish to start. And then when it is a special one that is not the default, it's going to spell it out. So you'll see SS, SF, and FF. So a recap of the relationship type metric is we are looking at the non-typical relationships between our task. So every task has a relationship. This is looking at what type of relationship that is, whether it is the default finish to start or the non-typical, which is start to start, start to finish, and finish to finish. So we're going to be looking at the successor and predecessor fields, and then we're going to sum up the ones that are non-typical and divide it over the incomplete task and make sure it falls under 10% of the task that have non-typical relationships.